The National University of Singapore Board of Trustees has accepted a review committee's recommendations to implement tougher penalties for sexual misconduct offenders. The committee was formed in April to review the university's disciplinary framework in such cases. And this follows NUS undergrad Monica Bay going public after being filmed by a male student while she was showering. She had called for tougher action against the perpetrator. The Board of Trustees Chairman said the recommendations were informed, balanced and robust, and it reflects the community's common desire for tougher penalties for offenders and greater support for victims. NUS President Professor Tan Eng Chai will reveal the implementation plans for these measures in the coming days. The Board will conduct a follow-up review of the disciplinary and support frameworks two years from now to ensure that the frameworks remain effective and relevant. The committee proposed 10 recommendations, which include tougher penalties for offenders. It also proposed longer suspensions and even expulsion. Suspensions will be noted on an offender's transcripts, and the notation will be disclosed for, inter for internships and employment. Education Minister Ong Yi Kang called the recommendations by the review committee a robust set of measures. In a Facebook post this evening, Mr. Ong said the measures will provide better support for victims, take offenders to task, serve as a deterrent to future offenders and improve the safety of the campus. He added that while it has been a difficult period for the university, he believes the NUS will emerge better. Mr. Ong also said other institutes of higher learning are conducting their reviews and the Education Ministry will work with them to ensure a safe environment for students.